Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2022 American Coach Tradition. This is the 37S that we'll be going over. Can't wait to tell you all the great things that you get with American Coach. Now it is towards the end of the model year, so at the end of the video, I may add some of the new uh, features for 2023 if I can find those out for you, um, since I don't have a 23 to show you just yet. But I am excited to show you this product. It's a great product. Um, this is 37 feet, nine inches long. And then let's go ahead and start at the very top of the windshield and talk about this coach. So you look at the very top of the coach, you're gonna see the marker lights. And then just below that, you'll notice something a little bit different than you see on most coaches. You've got your windshield wipers that are mounted at the top. So it gives you greater visibility when you're using those. Then you've got that great big windshield. So your trip, your journey starts when you get behind the uh, driver's seat because you've got this beautiful windshield that you get to see our country with. Love that. And then right in the center of the windshield, you'll see a rectangle box. That's your mobile eye. So that's gonna be lane departure, lane de um, when you start to veer out of your lane without putting your turn signal on, it's going to alert you. Also, if you go all the way down to the bottom here, you see this on guard. So you've got your on-guard collision mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, electronic stability control, um, great features, select drive that's gonna help you when you're driving. So a lot of safety features to keep you comfortably driving your coach for a long time. You'll notice the beautiful chrome exterior mirrors. Those are internally controlled and defrost, and they have defrost on them. Also, you're gonna have your first marker light and you have your camera in those mirrors as well, so that when you turn on your right and left turn signal, you're gonna be able to see down the full side of your coach so that you're very safe when you, as you make those lane changes. Another thing that's built in, safety feature that's built into your mirrors is your blind spot monitor. So a lot of times you'll see a little disc on the side of the coach that's sort of that blind spot monitor. This is built into the mirror so it's, it makes this coach look even more gorgeous. You definitely wanna protect this beautiful paint job and this front cap. So we have diamond shield across the full front cap to help protect you. Now, when you get to a campground, I always recommend uh, washing off your front cap because there are some pesky little bugs that will try to eat through that. But um, that is nice to have. And then we have our second marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Notice the beautiful paint, full paint finish um, exterior. This is the Vermont slate. You have three other options, but I just think they do a great job with their graphics and their colors. I wanna point out that the Tradition sits on the Freightliner chassis with the Liberty Bridge. So this is a game changer. Liberty Bridge is a super steel structure, one piece that is placed on top of the Freightliner chassis, um, connected with two seven and a half inch I-beams that are then huck bolted to the Freightliner chassis. This gives the chassis great strength and rigidity and a very smooth ride. I can't tell you how impressed I've been with the American Coach coaches that I've been driving, how quiet and smooth they are. It really is a game changer. And I've talked to customers that have had the Liberty Bridge and they they just say there's nothing like it. So you've got to come test one, drive one to see what it's really like, but I think you're going to be really impressed. Note that we've got the Harrow entrance door awning that has the LED light strip. And then we, just to the side of it, we've got our patio light. And then we've got our key fob. So you've got a key you can get into your coach and then you've got the keyless. Um, you can just unlock the coach and get right in. Now, the other thing I like about this too is that you can lock your cargo um, compartments. So if you press one, you just heard everything lock and press two, unlock all those compartments. So there's nothing worse than having to go individually, bay by bay and unlock those. This is it, this is a game changer. I love having that. On the Tradition, they give you a great um, handle here to get safely in and out of the coach. Then we have our third marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Then let's go right back to our tires. We've got the 315 Michelin tires with the Alcoa Durabrite rims. So you don't have to polish those, you just have to keep them clean and they're gonna be looking great for a long, long time. Speaking of tires, 
One of the things you need to check out is Retroband. I have a video on it, you can go watch. We have a version two out now. Retroband is your spare within your tire. Sold exclusively at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, a lot of times we will install those remotely uh, at FMCA rallies or at our AIM rallies. We bring um, everything we need to do to, to put the Retroband in, balance your tires, and you're good to go. It's great peace of mind in the event of a blowout. American Coach is so confident in their products that they give you a two-year, 24,000-mile coach warranty. Then you have a five-year, 50,000-mile structural warranty. And then you have a five-year um, delamination warranty, which is really the industry standard. Um, you really don't have to worry about that DLAM warranty because the way they construct their walls is different than everyone else. They do their laminated walls differently. They don't use any Luon or wood backer board. They use a thicker piece of fiberglass than a thick piece of foam insulation and then their wall backer. And along with their walls, they use aluminum framing so all cabinets are secured to that. And then they use interlocking joints from the wall to the ceiling and the wall to the roof. So it's a very strong, uh, secure wall. And you're gonna notice that when we do the test drive of how quiet it is when we're going down the road. Now you might notice that there's something missing here. If you're um, used to looking at class A diesels, most of the time your fuel fill is right here behind your front tires. Well, American Coach does that differently. They do their fuel uh, tank in the center of the coach so it more evenly distributes that uh, weight of the fuel across the full across the coach. Now right here we've got our first docking light for the passenger side of the coach and then we're going to go right into our first storage compartment. All right here is our first storage compartment. A couple things I want to point out. First of all um, you'll see that it's got a white liner here. So it's made with Citadel fiberglass, actually two layers, and kind of has a cork um, layer in between. So that gives it extra insulation. I like the white because it's light and bright. This is also lit. If you look across the roof of the um, storage compartment, you're gonna see a vent. So it is um, that it is heated, so you don't need to worry about freezing in this compartment. And then you've got your inverter in here. So. They've mounted that to the roof, which is nice. Um, you can't pack too much around that. You don't want to overheat your inverter by packing too much around it. So when they put it to the roof, it makes it harder to do that. Now this tray is an optional tray. Um, it pulls out from either direction. So it's not truly a pass-through, but it gives, sometimes that's almost better because those pass-throughs sometimes will hit the chassis rails. Now again, with the Liberty Bridge, you've got the higher um, rails here and you get more space. So as I pull this out, now this is our med flap that we haven't attached, just so you know what that is. And I'm gonna leave that there. We'll attach that when you come to National Indoor RV Centers to pick up your new coach. We want it nice and shiny and perfectly ready for you. But I do love this tray, look how far it comes out. Now this is an optional tray. When you order it, it says it's 36 on this side, 54 on that side. Now when I do that, it's actually 36 from end to end, but the actual storage space is really 34 inches, 34 by 34 pretty much. When you option this in, just so you know, the trays are great, but you do lose about, I would say three and a half inches of height for storage. So if that's important, you may wanna think through whether you want that tray or not but it definitely makes it easier to get your goods. <laughs> now the Citadel fiberglass that I was talking about, just a couple things about that. It is water resistant and mold resistant. So that's another thing you can literally just hose out your baggage compartment and you're good to go. Here is the fuel fill for the passenger side of the coach for your 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. Again, further back, more towards the center of the coach to evenly distribute that weight. Then just inside, we've got our reservoir for our hydraulic system. So your HWH system is gonna be used for your full wall slide and for your leveling jacks. And you can see that you've got storage around this compartment. It's LED lit, and you can simply just lift this lever and pull that out for servicing. Our next storage compartment has the optional freezer in it. So you can see that you've got storage on either side. Um, when you see this little pink stuff, you know that the coach has been winterized. So just so you know what that is. And then we can just 
lift the lever, pull that freezer out. It's gonna come out well beyond the slide room, which is really nice. And then you can adjust the temperature so you can make this a refrigerator or a freezer. If you're having people over to watch the game, you've got the awning out, um, you might wanna just have this be a refrigerator so all the drinks are out here. You may also notice that the seal of all the compartments has an arch to it. That is by design so that typically water can beat up on this seal. The way that it's arched, the water's gonna run off the side so that you don't have any mold, mold or cracking on that seal. You may be wondering what this is because this is in a totally unique spot and I will show you what it is, where that is when we get inside the coach. One of the unique features to this 37S floor plan, um, this is the dryer vent. A lot of people walk into this floor plan and they're like, oh, nope, not for me. There's no washer and dryer. It's in a unique spot. I think it's in a great spot. So I can't wait to show you when we get inside. Just below that, we have our marker light and then we have our RV power protection transfer switch. Um, definitely important. Then we've opted in again, the technology package. So you get the 300 watt solar panel and this is the solar panel controller this is your battery control center so it's just going to give you the status indicators of the chassis batteries coach batteries um, coach and chassis and then coach battery low voltage you also have fuses inside here um, this is just the magnum uh, links to your inverter and then we've got the five amp um, trickle charge for your battery now this is where your battery disconnect is Super important that you know where that is. Um, if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we keep all of our at least 300 coaches that we have in storage plugged into 50 amp or 30 amp service at all times. Um, you don't need to winterize, it's full valet service. You just let us know you wanna come pick up your coach. Uh, we will fill the fresh water tank, check the tire pressure. Um, to your spef specifications or the manufacturer's spec specifications. You just drive up, your coach is ready to go, hop in and hit the road. We're really designed to take the hassle out of our being. But, okay, back to my point now. <laughs> if you are um, not storing with us and you're not plugged in, you wanna make sure you hit that battery disconnect so that you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries and come back to a dead coach. That's a huge bummer, especially when you're getting excited to leaving for a trip. Now, if you see me beating up today, it's only because it's supposed to be like 110 out here in Las Vegas. So I definitely want to make sure I have some good shade. So I've got my um, Gerard remote control for my big awnings. I'm going to go ahead and put them out. Now that my awnings are fully extended, you can see how much shade they provide, so nice. I can go ahead and turn on my lights. Of course, I don't need it in the middle of the day, but it's really nice at night. And now that we have the awnings all the way out, it's time for a little TV or a little entertainment. So I've unlocked my compartment here and I've got my great, this is a 50 inch Samsung TV with the JBL soundbar and it's on a swivel so you can Take it out and adjust it for the best viewing. And then you can see the JBL soundbar just behind it. Plus it's just a nice beefy um, TV uh, swivel. So, and then it just locks nicely back in this place so that it's not gonna be bouncing around during travel. The ride comes standard with the tradition. It allows for additional cargo capacity and additional roll stability. So you're gonna feel less sway when you're taking tight turns and everything as you're going down the road. Our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach. Another nice big storage compartment here. Again, that's lit. Here's the last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then we go to the all important chassis battery compartment. So here are our chassis batteries. Here are our ba chassis battery disconnects. Again, same thing goes with that. If you're, when you're storing your coach, uh, if you're not plugged into 50 amp service, you wanna make sure those are turned off. So no parasitic draw on any of your batteries. And just below this, we have the power management center for the back half of the coach. So we're gonna have our fuses in here. Here's the fuel water separator, air dryer, and fuel filter. Here at the rear of the coach, 
You can see the great graphics that we get on the Tradition. If you go to the very top, you see our marker lights. Then right in the center, um, just below that fin there, you've got your uh, rear view camera. Coming down, you've got your nice high brake lights. And then we go to our exhaust for our engine. Here is the seven way for your um, tow vehicle lights and the airline for your braking system. So that's all built in, which is really nice. Our hitch um, on this coach, it's rated for 10,000 pounds. It sits on the Freightliner XCM chassis with the 450 horsepower engine with 1250 pound foot of torque. Then right to the side of the hitch, we've got an uh, airline to bleed off any excess water on our um, air brake. And then we have the exhaust here for our Aqua Hot 400 diesel Aqua Hot. You don't get a ladder on all Class A diesel, so this is nice. You've got a ladder here, so if you want to check your roof seals or anything, you can easily climb up. Now, before we go into the engine compartment, we need to take the bottom half of the ladder off and stow this when we're traveling. So it's just super easy, just pull it out until it's pretty much vertical, and then it just slips right off and it's super lightweight. Now for all you guys, let's check out the engine compartment. So, love that it's so easy to open. That's a huge deal for me. <laughs> um, as we look inside here, we have the transmission dipstick and fill, our engine oil dipstick and our engine oil fill. Just below here, we've got our power steering fluid fill. Here's the coolant for the coach. Make sure you only check that when um, the engine is cool. You don't want to do this when it's hot or you could get burnt. Below here is our air filter minder. So when this little yellow line gets up to the red line, it's time to change your air filter and you need to do that at least once a year. And here is our air cleaner for our engine. And as an added bonus, you can see that the engine compartment is even insulated. As I come around the driver's side of the coach, we have our first marker light for the driver's side. Then we have our side radiator. Now the side radiator is nice for a couple reasons. First of all, the obvious one, you just saw the engine compartment, very easy to service and work on your engine when you have a side radiator. Also, it brings in ambient air, which is easier for the fan to cool, and therefore you get a little bit more horsepower. Another thing that you should do with your radiator, just a little maintenance, uh, take your garden hose, gently squirt off the radiator front occasionally, just keep that clean and working at its best, um, functioning at its best level. Now, just above the side radiator, we have our emergency egress door. So I'll show you how that works from the inside. You can see that you can't access that from the outside. Just in case of emergencies, you can get out. Now, one of those things um, that people worry about is fires and RVs. If you are worried about that at all, you need to check out our Protang fire suppression system. So I have a full video on there. It's activated by heat, um, but it leaves no residue and you can customize it to your coach. You can pick which compartment you put it in. We can put it throughout the whole coach or just in particular um, compartments. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers if you'd like to learn more about Protang. Inside this door, we have our DEF tank, which is our diesel exhaust fluid. There's a gauge there so you can see what level you're at. You wanna make sure that you never get low on that. Um, also, remember that it does have a shelf life. So if you're buying that at Walmart or AutoZone, just check the expiration and then just make note of when you bought it. It doesn't like heat or sunlight either. The first docking light for the driver's side of the coach and our second marker light for the driver's side. Here we have our wet bay. So I love this wet bay. It looks nice. It's all labeled very nicely. One of the things that I really like about it is you've got a little soap dispenser here and your paper towel holder, right? Not a big deal, but this is where all the dirty work is done. So it's nice to be able to clean up afterwards. Um, now, if you're new to RVing and you've never hooked everything up and you're not sure how it all works, you'll want to go watch my RVing 101 series. I take a trip from prepping for the trip, um, leaving our Atlanta location, going to our AIM rally in Louisiana, and then um, finishing off in Dallas. So start to finish, you'll see me on that trip and everything that I do. I even have some customers that come in and let us know um, they're featured and they show us how they pack their coach, what they think it's important to bring and how they pack it. So you might find that interesting. So let's go over everything here in the wet bay. First of all, up in the corner, we've got our cable connect. And then right below that, we've got two 110 outlets, our LED lighting strips so we can see what's going on in here. 
Then we've got our monitor here that's going to tell us our tank levels. Now uh, the 37S will hold 105 fresh water, 75 gray and 50 black. Here's your exter exterior um, security lights. So here's the one for the driver's side, which is right above us. So you can see what you're doing here. You can turn on the luggage compartment or you can turn on the lighting underneath the coach. So that's really nice to have all while you're doing this work, especially if it's dark. And then you can turn all your exterior lights on and off and you can turn your water pump on and off. Here is your external shower. Now this is really nice to wash off with if you've been to the beach, um, you've been hiking for the day and you're all dirty, you don't wanna take that dirt inside your beautiful coach. So you can shower off, rinse off right here. Here are your black and gray tank rinses and then your power button for your SantaCon um, system, your macerator for the coach. This is the filter for your water for the coach. Here is the auto reel for your freshwater hose. And then we have our 50 amp shore power cord and the auto reel for that. So those are really nice to have on auto reel. And you have an access port for those, both of those to go through so that you can keep this compartment sealed off from any critters. Over here, we have our gravity dump connection here and our sewer hoses down here. We have our T-bar for our gray tank, T-bar for our black tank, and if you look down here, you can even see this is part of your black tank, part of your fresh water tank. Your hot water drain, your cold water drain, and your water tank bypass fill are right here. And then we've got all of our hoses below. We've got the plastic liners so that we can wash this out when we're done with all the dirty work. Center of the coach is the driver's side security light. And then behind this panel here, we have the fill for potable water. So if you're dry camping um, and you need to fill your water tank, this is where you could do it here. This is also where you can sanitize your fresh water tank. Next is the Aqua Hot 400 diesel. So this is going to be your on-demand hot water and your furnace once you drop below 35 degrees. You've got your coolant here for your Aqua Hot, your um, oil filter for the Aqua Hot, and your Dirt Devil um, vacuum system for the coach. Next is our AGM, our house battery compartment. So we've got the six AGM batteries and our battery disconnect. And you'll see that there is a vent in the back. So that is um, vented. You will keep that compartment warm, which is going to extend the life of your batteries. Fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. Again, that's a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. And then we've got our other pass-through tray. Well, it's not truly a pass-through, it's the half and half. So we've got the 54 inch here. You're probably wondering what this is for. So this is going to be your pull down window awnings. And then you just attach that onto this. So it's really nice to have those window awnings. You can't leave your big um, Gerard awnings out when you're not at the coach. It's just too dangerous. If a big gust of wind comes along, it can take them off. Even though they do have a shake sensor, I never leave them out if I'm not outside. But you can leave these down because they've got the three points of contact, so they're much um, safer. Along with your mud flap, American Coach has given you extra tiles for the coach in case you ever need them. Hopefully you never will. Second docking light for the driver's side of the coach. And then as we come up front, we've got our marker light. You may be wondering what this exhaust is for. That is for your generator. So when I open up here, we've got our windshield wiper fluid here. Inside this compartment is the power management system for the front half of the coach. So if you have a chair that's not moving forward or back, or if you have a light that's out, it's going to be in here in this fuse area. Now, if you look over here, we've got our uh, quick connect airline. So if you want to fill up um, you know, inflatable pool toys or your bike tires. You can easily do that here. This is uh, the air service for emergency inflation of your air tanks. If for some reason they're not filling up or if you need to be towed, we hope that never happens. And then we have the power slide for your generator. Remember when this goes out, this is going to move. And if you've been running your generator, that will be very hot. So don't let it touch you. With the front cap extended, you can see that it's very easy to get to your generator. This is your 10,000 watt Onan generator. You can easily get inside here to check your oil, oil dipstick and, and fill your oil there. 
Under this flap, we've got the breaker coolant. This is where we can start and stop the generator and see our generator hours. Just behind me and right here, we have our um, horns for the coach and compressor for the dash AC. I've loved showing you the outside of the coach, but I'm really excited to show you my favorite part, the inside. Let's go take a look. As I step into the tradition, note the great um, grab bars on both sides so you can safely get in and out of the coach. Then we've got our fire extinguisher. Great to have that right by the front door. So if you need it outdoors or indoors, you can easily get to it. A lot of great buttons here. First of all, this is the button for our luggage lights, our entryway light, our awning light, so entry door awning, and our living room light. The porch light, we can turn that on and on. That also illuminates the stairwell. Then we have the under the box or under the slide light. We have our exterior uh, driver side security light and passenger side security light. So you just press the one that you want to turn on. Then we have a all lights on and all lights off button. So this is great as you walk into the coach, turn the lights on, and then when you exit, turn everything off. This is the under the coach light, which is like the blue light, blue NIRVC light, which is kind of fun. One of my customers calls those his boogie lights, um, which I love. Ike, I'll always remember you. And then we have our step lock. So this will um, lock out the step. Once we're camping, we don't want the steps to come in and out every time we open the door. Also, right when we walk in, we've got the battery disconnects right here and our step color cover. So when we're traveling, we want to cover the stairwell so we won't have anyone or any of our furry friends fall in in route. As I step up into the tradition, I wanna go over the storage that we have in the cockpit area. So first of all, we have a lot to discuss in this compartment. First of all, in the back, we have one available 110 outlet. Then we have our Traveler's satellite for direct TV that we optioned in. Now this is going to be your matrix box that will let you um, you know, decide if you're doing the DVD or the satellite one, satellite two, or the auxiliary to each TV. So you've got your main TV, bedroom TV, exterior TV, and a supplemental TV. And then we've got our um, Blu-ray DVD player here. And then we have the control for the entry door awning in and out. This is our over the air um, antenna so we can uh, lock onto local stations. Then we have our hydraulic room extension. So with American Coach, it's a little bit different. You level your coach first, then your slides out, then you bring your slides in and your jacks up. So when you're taking your slides out for the hydraulics room, you need to just have the key on. Best to have the coach running, and then you can just extend or retract that full wall slide that's on the hydraulic system. Then for our room slide out that's electric, you do have to have the coach on for this, and then you can take it in and out. And of course, coach on, park um, brake engaged. That's sort of an obvious. And then we also have cables for HDMI here in this compartment, if you wanna hook up a gaming system or something like that. In this compartment, we have the controller for the Gerard entry door awning. Over here, we have our cell booster and our Wi-Fi Ranger. This is a controller for the Vega Touch, which we'll get to here shortly. And then just a little bit more space if you need to store anything up there. Now, this is where you could option in the overhead TV. We didn't, so you've got an extra storage compartment here. More storage. and really big storage compartment there that passes through. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 37S. Now this is, I just think this is a gorgeous interior package. It's called the Gravity Interior Package. There are three other choices that you can choose from. And then the Rushmore Painted Cabinets. I love these as well. It's so current with what is happening um, in the housing market today. I think it's gorgeous. Also, we have the Apex Furniture. Um, very residential look and feel. Feels great, very comfortable. Um, it's top notch as far as I'm concerned. As far as like the whole decor package, the backsplashes, everything. And you'll notice the tile um, wood look floor 
that is on the diagonal. Again, that makes this area fill, I think, even bigger. So I went ahead and turned around the captain and the co-captain's chair so that you can see in this 37-foot coach, you can have two comfortably in the theater chairs, you can have two comfortably in the dinette chairs, and then you've also got two more reclining chairs um, in your captain's chair. So with your two recliners here, your two theater seating there, your two dinette chairs, plus your two folding chairs, you can easily entertain eight people in your 37 foot coach. I do want to show you how you adjust the armrest. So you push in and then you can put it to the desired spot. So now to the theater seating, which is my favorite. It is so comfortable. First of all, the soft touch ultra leather, and then we've got the push button controls here. So you can just sit back, relax, Ah, see if you can stay awake. Um, and then you just push it the other way to bring it forward. We also have the lights in the cup holder compartment. And we've got a little cover here. You just open that up and you've got your USB charging port. Here is a little um, port for a device that will hold a tablet, your iPad, your um, Kindle, whatever kind of tablet you're using. And then in between, the seats, we've got storage and it's nice and deep. So you could put a throw blanket in there, books, remotes, whatever you want. Now just above the theater seats, we've got the button for the reading lights. And then the center button is a camera selector. So you can throw the camera up on your TV and then you go through the sequence of the cameras um, outside. And then this is your TV lift button. So you're just gonna press that and up comes your 50 inch Samsung TV directly across from the seat, theater seating. So you have perfect viewing and just above your TV, you're gonna have your sound bar. You may be wondering what this little black button is. That is your thermistor for the front part of the coach that's gonna uh, speak to the thermostat to keep the temperature nice and comfortable for you. Then we've got storage. Look at that great storage above. And this is all open, no divider in between. So it makes it very easy to use and really maximize that storage space. Behind the theater seating, we've got the manual shades. So for your day shade and your night shade, the great thing about manual shades is they always work as long as your arm does, right? <laughs> then let's go over to our dinette area. So I love, again, the detail. And you're also gonna notice we have a flush floor, no carpet, one of my favorite things. I don't have to worry about unsightly, dirty carpet. Uh, American Coach figured this out and they do a great job. They don't even have the rubber strip, which I prefer because it just gets dirty. So I really like the way they do their floor. Now we've got a table for two or we can unlock it and pull that out. Now we've got a table for four, um, but I do wanna show you that underneath the table, You've got two 110 outlets on both sides and two USB charging ports and storage beneath the table. Quite big storage too. You may be wondering what this is. This is the strap that you can connect the leg to your chair when you're in travel mode so that they don't move around while you're driving. And then we've got the adjustable shelf storage here, nice and deep, everything's lined. And you'll notice hinges are hidden inside. We've got a magnet closure so everything closes nice and tight it's not going to rattle and then our drawer and we have two 110 outlets and usb on this side of the table as well so you've got that on both ends more storage adjustable shelf again and drawer all right i do love the detail of the glass inlaid doors and then we've got the adjustable shelves inside and we have that on both sides of the tv and then of course you can't see it right now because we've got this awesome 50 inch TV, but when that's down, we've got that big, huge window. So at dinner time, breakfast, you can either be enjoy enjoying your favorite program or just literally enjoying that, the beautiful outdoors. I went ahead and extended the table. You can see that you can get four comfortably to the table. And then these are your extra chairs when you just wanna turn everything around and make it a big living room and uh, conversation. 
I must say that I absolutely love this kitchen. First of all, I know I'm gonna keep saying it, but this is a 37 foot coach. And look how much counter space you have in this kitchen. Plus, a little bonus, even more. So I just feel like for this space, they've made this floor plan feel so big um, with a small footprint. So you can easily get this into state parks. Um, those of you that really want to, you know, stand or 40 feet, this is a great option at a great price. So lots of storage here. I mean, like tons of storage, nice deep drawers, and it gets better huge storage there for all your, your, your utensils. Then we have the optional dishwasher. So a couple knocks, it's magic, opens that right up. And then another spot. So this is a great place. You've got adjustable shelves there. You might even want to um, put spices there. Lots of options. And then I do love the solid surface countertop. I love the edge that they did. Check out this, another cool feature. We've got our pop-up for our outlets and our USB, and then we can just push that away. I also love the backsplash. Very residential, beautiful. And then we have the recessed induction cooktop. So this is really nice. Gives us a little diagram of what pans will work on it, basically. Anything that a magnet will uh, attach itself to will work on this, along with an iron pan, iron kettle, iron plate. You get the idea. But the induction cooktops are really nice. They warm up really quickly, and they aren't hot to the touch. Now, more storage above with an adjustable shelf. That's a plug-in for your convection microwave oven. So that's a nice size, big, and don't um, kid yourself. You can bake cookies in there, pie. Um, one of my good friends, Nettie, she makes a beautiful loaf of bread for her and her husband every night or every other night. And then more storage here, adjustable shelves. Look at all that space there. Now just underneath the cabinet, we're gonna have our second thermistor for the coach. We've got the lights and our control for that light is right here. And we have another 110 USB. So and there's plenty of height there too. So if you wanna put a coffee maker back there, a Keurig, you've got room for it. Then we have this beautiful farm sink. Nice and big, and it's not too deep. That, that, that's what I like about it, is that it is big, but it doesn't take up a ton of your storage below. And I have these with my sink. Actually, I don't have this, but I want it, so maybe I'll take it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, this cutting board that lays right over the sink, so you can cut your vegetables and everything, push them right off into the sink. And then what I really, really like and this is what I don't have yet, so I need to go out and go to Bed Bath & Beyond or something and buy me one, but the drying rack. So how cool is that? So useful. You can wash your dishes, just lay them right out, and I love that. And then you have that big storage space below the sink. And then behind this door here, we've got our breaker box. Just below the breaker box, we've got the Dirt Devil where you can hook up your hose and vacuum from the front to the back of your coach. Or if you just want to sweep everything up to the dustpan, you can gently hit that and it will suck it all away. And you'll notice the courtesy light there as well. And I'm not done with the great storage. This is also another favorite. Oh, check out that great pantry space. Cereal boxes, oatmeal containers, like lots of space easy to get to the very back of it not just one but two of those so how great is that love 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 that and then look at all that storage below and then we have the shelf that pulls out so again they've divided the space so you don't just have this huge compartment that everything gets pushed to the back and then you can't get to it i just really really like that Next up is our Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. Huge residential refrigerator, has all the different trays that you need. 
ice maker in the door and water. We love that. I know we love that. And then check out this freezer. This is as big or bigger than my refrigerator in my house, refrigerator freezer. So shut that all up. And then like I said, we have water and ice in the door. And then we've got these great locks. So one of the things you wanna do before you go on a trip is make sure you have a checklist of things that you check every time before you leave. I have my own checklist. If you'd like a copy of it, please just email me at Angie, A-N-G-I-E at N-I-R-V-C dot com. I'll be happy to send it to you. All right, so one of my favorite features, oh, did I say favorite again? I have lots of those, don't I? <laughs> um, but I love the Vega Touch panel. So you can um, pair this with your phone, so you can do all these functions on your phone as well. I'll show you how you do that in a second. I've got the master light. You can turn that on and off here. And then your entry ceiling, dinette ceiling, and living room ceiling. Anytime you see the two little arrows, that means that light is dimmable. So you can set, set it to a, a lighter setting or bring it all the way up to full light. Then we have our step lock. We can do that right from here. We're gonna get the temperatures inside the coach. It's a little toasty in here, isn't it? 80, 83, and 84. This is where we can turn on our um, aqua hot burner. So if we're gonna take a couple showers, we wanna have a nice long shower, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we're using our diesel heat. So we're gonna turn on our aqua hot burner. If you're just, you know, rinsing the dishes or washing your hands, um, you just need a little bit of hot water. You can just use your uh, electric element there and turn that on because that's all you need. Then it gives us our tank levels. Remember, it's 105, 75, and 50 in the tradition. And we can turn the water pump on and off from here. We have the levels of our house and chassis batteries. And we have a disabled auto gen start at this moment. We can start and stop our generator and it's showing our generator hours, and then it's showing what um, volts we're bringing in on each line, and that we are plugged into 50 amp power. All right, so this is going to give us our electrical information. Again, our power source, um, transfer switch, baker, breaker box, inverters, the charge on our batteries. Um, this is where we can start and stop the generator as well, and where we can go ahead and set up our auto gen start. So we can set the trigger point once it drops below 12.0 volts, how long we want it to run, um, the max time we want it to run, all that. We can set our quiet time here so you can totally customize that screen to what you'd like. We also have our block heater so as long as we have that plugged in in the back we can turn that on and off from here. Then let's go to our light panel. So these are our exterior lights. We can control all those from here. Our, uh, the rear half of the coach interior lights and then our main light. And then of course we have our master light on and off at the top, which is always great. Now this is for our temperature control here. So we can turn on our AC, our heat pump, our aqua hot. We're gonna use that once we drop below like 35 degrees and we can set each of those easily change them up and we can keep it on auto or we can do a high fan or a low fan and you can do that for the rear of the coach midship of the coach front of the coach and then again we've got our burner here for our aqua hot our electric element and our floor heat that's one of those things i failed to mention earlier you have electric um, mats underneath your tile for floor heat so a lot of my customers enjoy the floor heat so much because it's not forced air at them they just will turn on their floor heat, then circulate their air, and it keeps their coach nice and warm. We have our living room fan and our bathroom fan. So our living room fan is right here. We can open and shut it, and we can select which power we want on that fan. Then we have our shade controls. So this is for the front portion of the coach because everything else is manual. So you have your master shade button and your master blind button and then you can do each window individually if you want. Your settings button, so this is your diagnostics um, page. It gives you, this is also where you compare your app. So you can hit this, you're gonna scan that, you'll download the Eclipse app onto your phone, you pair it, and then now you can do all those functions that you can do on the pad here from your phone. 
Welcome to the master bedroom of the 37S. So the privacy doors just lock into place and then when you want to extend them, you just push the button down and you can pull them out. So look how big and spacious this feels. Now one of the reasons is because we have the bed on our left. So we do have a remote for the bed and you can bring it up and down, take it down till it's flat. Now it does need to be all the way up in order for the slide room to work. But that's really nice because you can make your bed in the morning, push it away, and then you have this huge walkway and it just feels super big in here. One of the things I really like. So keep that remote handy because you do want to have that. So let's go over the wardrobe here. First of all, I love that we've got the mirrors and the two um, top wardrobes. So we've got big space here. It's lit with adjustable shelves. And then we've got two nice size drawers beneath our 43 inch Samsung TV and another big compartment here again adjustable shelf so we could take those out or in it's lit and then the bonus is behind our TV look at all that space we have our safe and then just tons of storage so I love that feature that you've got the TV but you've also got workable space there. Now, this is the fun thing that I've been waiting to show you. I had customers, we actually had this coach at a show recently, and I happened to be in the coach when a customer was like, nope, this isn't gonna work for me. There's no washer and dryer. Guess what? Voila, here are the washer and dryer. Whirlpool washer and dryer. I love that they're in here. You can take the laundry out, set it on your bed, fold it, and then put it right away in your drawers or your wardrobe. Check out all this drawer space that you've got. Soft closed drawers. And the same, even a little bit bigger drawers over here on the left side. So lots of space. Now as we go up the wall here, I wanted to go over the controls. So this is your slide room control for the bedroom slide. You do have to have the coach running for this to work and the bed up. Then we've got the bedroom light, the panel lights. We can turn those off so the, that blue light doesn't keep you awake or the white light doesn't keep you awake at night. You've got the control for your reading lights, your left and your right, an all lights on, all lights off button, living room light, porch light, bathroom light, and your accent light. So I love the bed, love the bedding. You've got a king size bed. I love that you can lift it up too. That makes it really comfy for when you want to watch TV. If you want to sit up a little bit, you can just raise that bed when you're ready to go to sleep. Just take your remote and take it down. Great storage above and it's not divided. So you've got a lot of space here and it's lit as well, but look how deep that is. And then you have the two 110 outlets at the back and a pass-through area here. So if you have something you want to plug in, you can bring that through right here. So we've got speakers. If you want to bring that dash radio back here, you can do that, or your TV. We've got the thermistor for the bedroom. We've got our lights, our reading lights. We've got the camera switch that you can sequence through on the TV to see your um, cameras. And then the panel here for your bedroom, your reading lights, living room, panel lights, all lights on and off and you can start and stop your generator from here. Same storage here over on the other side, nice and deep. Again, I'd probably get some plastic bins so that I could put the, my items in there and then just pull out the bin because it's so deep, I'm never gonna reach the back of that. But hey, they've given us access to that space, which is great. You also have a little nightstand on either side of the bed and you also have two 110 outlets, two USB charging ports on each side of your nightstands. Just above the mirror here, we have the carbon monoxide detector. Love these gorgeous mirrors as we walk into the master bathroom. As I walk into the master bathroom, I have a door here, privacy door, and I've got a full length mirror. So that's really nice. You can check out your outfit and make sure everything looks good before you leave. Just small step up into the bathroom. And first off, we've got this nice big shower. So the interior dimensions are 36 by 28. Plenty of room in here. I love, again, the flip down shower seat, but also check out the tile in here. It kind of looks like a wood floor. 
and then the insets. It's just beautiful. Mindy with American Coach, she does a great job. Um, then we have the thick shower head, and look how high that is. So if you've got a tall um, partner, you're not going to have. They're not going to have any problem in here. And then we've got the handheld wand as well. I also like that they've given a spot for our shampoos and a bar that's going to hold everything into place while we're traveling. Now look at these awesome shelves here behind the commode. They're actually not shelves. You don't want to put too much on them because this is your emergency egress door. So you simply unlock the door, open it up, the door flips down, and now this becomes your step. And you've got a little gripping pad here so that you don't slip. But it's super easy. And then we've got our um, toilet here with our push button controls, toilet paper holder, and then we go into our cedar lined closet that's lit. We've got full access to the back wardrobe here. It's really nice and big. We've got an area here with some bungees so that we can bungee in those extra dinette chairs, the folding chairs. They can go right there. The other side of the wardrobe, again, the shelf above, the wardrobe bar. We also have our breaker, for breaker box here for the Firefly integrations right inside here. And then we've got shoe storage, uh, adjustable shelf, and the breakers. So remember, this is a 37-foot coach with this huge bathroom with dual sinks and this big vanity. I love the island in between with the drawer. You've got the adjustable shelves here. You have the medicine cabinets behind your mirror doors. Look how nice that is. And then we've got the 110 outlets on both sides. So you've got a great place for your blow dryer, your curling iron, and then the beautiful solid surface sinks integrated into the sink, the residential faucets, and the beautiful backsplash. And then check out the storage below. I mean, just so much storage. And I love the drawer space as well. So huge bonus is this great big bathroom and this 30, 37 foot coach. I don't want to miss that you've got the towel um, rings on both sides of the vanity. And we have a light panel here for the bathroom, the bedroom, the fan on and off and then up and down, the water pump and the accent lights. So I always like to show the floor plan with the slides in. Now I'm going to ask you a quick question. How long does it take you to take a, a potty break? Five minutes? Okay, so the one thing about the 37S is that when your slides are in, you don't have a pathway to the bathroom, but all you have to do is simply take out your bedroom slide like one foot. One foot, you're going to have a great pathway to the bathroom. It's going to take you maybe 20 seconds to do that, and or of course you can do the drop and roll and just go across the bed, but really I would just take out the slide, 20 seconds, you're out and through to the bathroom. And you get that amazing bathroom for when you're living in the coach 90% of the time and not traveling. And then you can easily get through the coach. You can open the refrigerator. You can access everything in the pantry and the other pantry. And you can be cooking, you can be at the sink, and then you could be sitting in your theater chairs. So really no issues getting through to the back bedroom when you're traveling. We're finally to the cockpit area of the coach. First of all, I wanna go over these chairs. They are super comfy. Like I said before, I love the Apex furniture. I think it's great and these chairs are phenomenal. So we've got buttons down here below. This is gonna be the lift for your footrest when your chair is turned around. Then we've got the heated seat button. Then we have the six-way power controlled seats. And on the other side of my chair, I just have a lever that you lift up to make it so that you can rotate your chair around when you want it to be in the living room. Okay, now to my left, at the very bottom here, I've got two 110 outlets, so I can charge it from, from there if I'd like. I have this nice storage space here, so if you're old school and want to carry a map, this is a great spot for it. I have a 12 volt receptacle and a USB charging port. Up here, I've got the ability to air level, so if I'm just staying at a camp, ground for one night or at a Walmart overnight, I would probably just air level. It's also going to give you some air leveling while you travel to give you a nice smoother ride. 
This is our HWH computerized leveling system and it's very easy to use. You just need to make sure that you have your park brake engaged and then you can go ahead and hit auto level. You're going to have uh, dots light up over here. When you have all four corners, red dots, you're level. If you have a yellow dot here and a yellow dot here, that means you're not level in those spots and you can try to re-auto level, maybe adjust the coach re-auto level, or you can try to manually level in those spots. Um, if you get a notice here that says excessive slope, you're not gonna be able to level and you're gonna have to move the coach and adjust. Just don't try your leveling jacks probably more than two cycles without giving them a rest period of about 20 minutes just so you don't burn up that pump. Then when you're ready to leave, you're gonna hit auto store. They, the jacks will raise up and you'll they'll put you in travel mode and you're good to go. This is our auto traction control button and I just always keep that in the auto position so that it's always on. Cup holder and then one of the things I really like about this dash is this stainless steel kind of chrome looking finish. I just think it looks really high end. One of the most important buttons on your dash is your battery boost button. So let's say you come back to your coach and you can't get your ignition to start. Your chassis batteries are dead. What you wanna do is push that battery boost button and hold it. You're gonna to tie together your house batteries and your chassis batteries and see if you can get enough power to start your generator, let your generator run for a little bit, and then start your ignition. Um, likewise, if you come back to the coach and your house batteries are dead, um, you're gonna push that battery boost button, tie your chassis and your house batteries together until you can get enough power to start your ignition, let the ignition run for a while, then you can turn on your generator and let it start charging, um, and then you'll start charging your batteries. These are your external um, defrost or mirror heat for your mirrors, and then your controllers for your mirrors. Just beyond that, you've got the wireless charging pad for your phone, which is really nice. And above that, we've got our parking brake, pull to apply, push to release. We've got our lights on auto. We can turn them off, our running lights, our headlights, and pull out for fog lights. Vent for our dash AC and heat. Just beyond my left foot, I've got the pedal that when I press it down, I can tilt the um, steering wheel so it's comfortable for me to drive. This first paddle is for your windshield wiper fluid. If I push it in, I can wash my windshield off then I can turn on my windshield wipers this way. Also, this is going to be my turn signal. When I go right, I'm going to see down the right side of my coach. When I go left, I'll see down the left side. And then I can pull my uh, paddle forward to flash my brights or push it back to keep my brights on. On the steering column itself, I can control all the information on the OptiView screen that's super clear in front of me right here. So I can go to the quick button here and quickly scan through gauges that I've selected on my dash, or I can go to the home button and just scroll through the menu. So I can go into trip one and get trip one information, go back, trip two, back, gauges. This is where I can scroll through the different gauges and select what I want to have on that quick page. Fuel economy. Tire pressure is okay. And then it's gonna give me my tire pressure. Road watch is gonna be all of our safety features. So this is what's great. We've got cruise control, our headway warning distance, intelligent high beams. You can, again, disable those or turn them on. I like to keep those on. Um, lane departure warning, speed limit indicator and alert, um, pedestrian alert, so many features in here that are for your safety. And then vehicle configuration. This is where we can change the brightness of the dash. We can pair our phone to the coach. Um, we can pair the fob if we need to. Uh, change the units from standard to metrics. Steering effort, this is our select drive. So this is how we can increase or decrease the steering effort for that computerized driving assist. So I can just lock it in and then go back. And then you just go back to your re, uh, set to default tabs. So diagnostics, we've got our faults, 
internal diagnostics, transmission prognos prognostics, and then system information and radar alignment. Then we have our horn in the center. This is where we can answer or hang up a call. We can set our cruise control, so we just hit that button. The cruise control button will come up, and then we hit set to set the speed or resume and cancel. Another way that you can use your cruise control is to help you air up your coach quicker. So I'm always a little bit in a hurry. So when you get in the driver's seat and you wanna to get to ride height quickly, you'll just turn on your ignition, then you're gonna go over here and hit your cruise control button and hit the set button. You'll see the RPMs um, raise up and it will air up your coach a little faster. Now this is to flash your marker lights. So say you are driving along and a trucker um, passes you. Well, you want to give him one flash of your high beams to let him know that it's safe for him to pull in front of you. And likewise, if you are passing a trucker and you go ahead and he flashes his high beams to let you know that it's safe to pull in front of him, then you would flash your marker lights three times to say thank you. So this is awesome. This is our transmission control and our engine brake control. So right here is where we're going to shift, drive, neutral, or reverse. And then we can manually shift here. So we would push in here to go into manual mode and push backwards to downshift, forward to upshift. You may wanna do this when you're going up a steep incline. You may want to downshift to keep your um, torque up and just Typically, I don't go over 2,000 RPMs when I do that. Then once I start to go down the hill, I just use my engine brake and I go back into auto. And to go back into auto, you just press this and hold. Engine brake is super easy. You have off, off, low, medium, high. It's just that easy. So like I said, when you are going down a hill and you wanna put your engine brake on, you can easily set that. I hope you never need them, but your hazard lights are right here. Just push them on and push them off. Then we have our ignition button. So we have the keyless ignition. So you need to have your key fob nearby. You're just going to put your foot on the brake, press and hold, and it's going to turn right on. And then to turn it off, you're just going to press and hold again. Now if you want to go to an accessory mode, you just hit it once quickly. You're in accessory mode, hit it again. You're in your ignition mode. And then all you have to do from here again is just put your foot on the brake, hold it down, and it will start. Check out these awesome, huge display screens. So let's go through this first one here. We're gonna go to our menu. We've got our radio button. You can control the radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth your phone in there, HDMI, your auxiliary input, your camera, so here you can see different views on your camera, so you can scroll through those. So your iPod, this is where you can connect your phone so you can play your music. Then you've got your nav system, so you can go into here, you can put in your route, find useful information, and then you can go back. Now this setup mode is important. This is where you can customize your screen and you'll wanna to go to system and go to page two. When you see that you've got your Wi-Fi settings, this is where you can click your settings and it will actually scan. You can connect your phone, your hotspot on your phone to this so that you have internet here so you can update your nav system with real time traffic and weather, etc. Then we have our Vega touch button and you can control your shades and some of your lights from this panel here. And house mode uh, allows you to put your radio from the dash outside or back in the bedroom. Okay, let's go over these buttons. So this is our front shade, up and down. Our driver shade, up and down. Accent lights, on and off. Our radio, so this is when we're in travel mode. This is when we're camping mode. We can throw that radio outside this is where we can turn on our generator, docking lights on and off, our keyless entry, we can lock and unlock the door. Then we have our HVAC controls here and a nice big drawer here for miscellaneous items. I like the keys there. I've got the Gerard awning control. 
So here in the passenger seat, I have all the controls that I had on the driver's seat. I'm gonna go ahead and get comfy, kick back, put my foot rest up. Got my cup holder here. Just below the cup holder, I have a USB outlet and 12 volt outlet, little storage, or I can set my phone here or here. And then across from me, I've got the wireless charging pad, the USB outlet and 12 volt outlet. All right, so we're ready to take the Tradition out for a test drive. Uh, I think you're gonna be really impressed with how quiet mm -hmm. it is, how smooth of a ride it is. Um, if you've never taken a coach out uh, for a test drive, or if you've never drive, driven a class A diesel, a few things to get used to. First of all, your tires are behind you, your front axle is behind you. In the center of that front axle is your turning point. So you don't start your turn until the center of your front axle is at the turn. So that's the first thing to get used to. The second thing is just feeling like you fit inside your lane. You really do. And there are so many things to help you as you're driving along here. You look through your mirrors and you can see those lines and you can stay right in your lane. Now, the other little tip that I wanna give you is you always hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Everything bad happens on the right. So, you know, more construction, road debris, bad roads, um, broken down cars, street signs, you name it. So you're just gonna use your mirrors. You've got your side view cameras when you turn on your turning light, uh, your turn signal. So many things to help you be safe while you're going down the road. So I'm gonna change lanes. You can see that I've got a clear shot here. There's a lot of construction today. I picked the great day to go for a test drive. Construction, really busy, um, you name it. I've got it going on for me here, but it's really no problem with all the um, safety features I have here. If I veer from my lane, you're gonna hear a sound, plus I'm gonna fill it in my seat for the mobile eye. I've also got the collision mitigation and adaptive cruise control. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my, turn on my cruise control here and everything's right here on the steering column. So I'm gonna turn that on. All right, so I'm at 60 miles per hour now. I'm on the freeway. And if the cars get closer to me, in front of me, it's gonna slowly start to slow me down. So there are some cars in front of me that are going a little bit slower and that is causing my cruise control to automatically adapt for me. That's why it's called adaptive cruise control. So if the car is in front of you going slower, it's going to slow down automatically for you. Now you just sit back and relax. You can even take your hands off the, just take one hand, but you can get your drink. You'll be surprised at how comfortable you get, how quickly. So we have mobile eye, collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, uh, uh, the lane departure and the speed limit sign. And then we have the select drive for to help us with our steering effort. Just so many things to make this coach easier and safer to drive. And if you watch my videos, I always do the decimal reader. 65.6 is what I'm getting here in the tradition. So you can see that you can easily drive this, have a nice conversation with your passengers. And um, like I said, it's so easy to drive easy to stay in your lane you get comfortable the further you look down the road the easier it is to stay in your lane and then i'm just going to show you with the mobile eye if i if i start to veer out of my lane without turning on my signal you heard the audible sound that's going to alert me that i am veering from my lane so i like that feature and you can turn the sensitivity sensitivity up or down or you can turn the feature off if you want, but they're really there for your safety. The Tradition sits on the Freightliner chassis, and a lot of people when they're shopping, they don't realize that probably the most important feature of your coach is the chassis, it's the foundation. Um, if you wanna know more about Freightliner and how that chassis is built and all the research and development they put into it, smart tools that they use, um, it's fascinating. I did a factory tour video of the Freightliner um, facility and I think you'll find that really fascinating especially if you realize how important the chassis is to the functioning of a coach. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough today of the 2022 American Coach Tradition 37S. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. 
current MSRP is $667,004. If you want to know what I can sell it for, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers or go visit our website, nirvc.com. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. And it is our goal to make customers for life. And that's not just lip service, we actually mean it. We have AIM clubs where we invite our customers to come and join us for a week and have a great, amazing time, different locations across the country. Um, when you come in to buy a coach, we wanna help you find exactly what works for you. So our RV lifestyle specialists are trained to listen to you and help put you in the right coach. We do um, trades, we take in consignments, we offer financing, extended service plans. We are here to do it all for you and really make RV buying and living simpler. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, go and check out my Freightliner um, factory tour visit and also our AIM Club, aimclub.org and Retroband. It's your spare within your tire. Thanks so much for your time and have a wonderful day.